Thursday. It's Thursday morning. I'm getting ready for work. I wanted to share this with you all because I'm very, very excited. You all know I like to share things that I really feel could be beneficial and it's not about a money thing. It's just really about me sharing things that work, you know? So I ordered these items from Amazon. I am really trying to focus on trimming my tummy down. I started to gain weight back. It, it all just went back to my stomach again. And it's a struggle for me. It's a true struggle. I thought I would look up a few things that could help me with tummy control. As I do have a few items already in my collection, but they're getting old. And I kind of needed some new things. So in my quest, I wanted to find a one-piece tummy tamer that had a bra built into it. But not only a bra built into it, but I wanted one that had a strapless option because you all know I love off the shoulder things I found it I found it on Amazon I believe this one was $23 $24 basically and it's strapless I got a size medium tried it on last night and it fits really good they did show this as you could wear this underneath the jacket and wear it like as a bodysuit I don't know I guess you could you know with the jacket on it's not anything that has like true true thickness it's not like a girdle girdle but it is definitely something that will kind of give you that even shape take away the rolls i am a little bit concerned of how tough this area is as far as or how strong i guess it's staying up long term i mean it did fine trying it on of course that to be determined but i think for all intended purposes i think it will work i don't think it's something that's going to work its way down completely but it may kind of roll a little bit up here i don't know i'll let you all know as i as i wear it and try it i'm i plan to try to wear it within the next few days to see how it works out maybe like this weekend or something i don't have anything planned but who knows maybe something will come up and i like that it has this little peephole thing i don't know why it has it but i thought it's kind of cute give it a little bit of pizzazz and these y'all these are so nice. I was really undecided about these because I kind of felt that if I ordered these, they're not going to be anything like what I was expecting them to be. And they're more than what I was expecting them to be. I really, really like these. These are high-waisted thongs. They have the little stuff in them to make them stay up. I don't know. It's like a little like silicone type of thing. I got a size small in these. If you read the reviews on these, they were so all over the place, but you also have to take in consideration everybody's body parts, how they're built, the size, you know, like what are their, what are their expectations? Mine was not so much to hold me in as far as make me thinner, but to just make me even, like an even canvas. I didn't want the lumps and the rolls, and this provided me with that. I range from a six and an eight. I got the size small. They come all the way up to my top the bottom of my breast they felt really good they didn't feel like they were cutting into me I tried them on over top of a pair of panties though because obviously I didn't want to try them on like cold turkey until I knew if I was gonna keep them because they do take them back y'all I've just been wearing these type of things a lot lately and I've been enjoying them I've been embracing them you know some people have some hang-ups about things like this but you know what if it makes me feel good y'all know I'm in this thing about things that bring me joy and this type of stuff has been bringing me joy lately. Just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, I ordered them on Amazon. I'll put the information in the description bar on these. I'll try to do a link. If I can't do a true link, I will definitely give you full-on descriptions of them. And you can find them yourself on Amazon. Because giving you a link doesn't get me anything. Or I don't have any affiliations with Amazon. I'm just sharing. I made it to work. I don't have a lot of time to just sit and chill this morning. Because I had a little rough start leaving my house this morning. I don't know how like I'm one of those people like I literally set an alarm for the time that I need to be doing my last minute stuff before I walk out the door and then I set an alarm for the time that I should be walking out the door and at the time that I should have been walking out the door I was still putting my shoes on and then I open up my door and I <laughs> couldn't find my keys like I keep my keys in a drawer right by my front door all the time don't know why this time I didn't do that I could not find my keys and I've panicked because my first thought was, oh my goodness, I left them in the door overnight. I opened the door and I didn't see them. So I freaked out. Somebody took my keys. They're going to come in my apartment. And then I thought, breathe. <laughs> because you did hit the alarm. I have this thing too. I hit my car alarm every night before I go to bed to make sure that I did lock my car. And I hear the little beep. And uh, 
my old car, I used to actually look out the window because I could see my my rearview mirrors go in because when my door locked, no rearview mirrors would go in. This car doesn't do that, but it beeps and lights up. So I, I mean, I guess I could look for the light up, but as long as I hear the beep, I'm good to go. <laughs> I did that. So I was kind of like, well, they have to be in the house somewhere. I don't know where, but they have to be in the house somewhere. So I did find them in my guest room or in Leo's room. So yeah, so then I got out the door and blah, blah, blah. So I don't need to spend 20 minutes explaining to y'all all of that. So anyway, I do want to share with you a very quick like, because it's like getting time for me to head out, head into work. I do want to share with y'all, I am using my new device. Remember I showed you the one in the last vlog that you saw last Saturday. That one, I showed you all the little concoction that I was going to send back because it didn't work. Well, what I've discovered is, is none of them are going to work on my dashboard because, well, I don't say none of them. I don't know. This one won't work on my dashboard either. I was trying to put it on my dashboard because all of them were saying, you know, that they're safe and they're this and that. I started reading this one and it didn't say that they were safe. And I was thinking, did I misread or, you know, why didn't I know that this wasn't going to be safe to put on my dashboard? Because it said... The only thing it's safe to put on was plastic or glass. And I thought, okay, this is a leather dashboard. Girl don't want to mess up her car. So I actually have it on the window. What I'm going to do is not use this one, except for probably when I'm doing things like this. I'm sitting still somewhere. Like we can literally have car chats probably a little bit more often with this one because this will, I can literally, like I, I know you can see a little bit of the steering wheel right there, but I can probably adjust that to where you won't even see that. And then we can just kind of sit here and have like some conversations, things of that nature. Like I don't, I'm going to leave it up today when I drive home. Like I drove to work this morning. It didn't bother my view at all. But at the same time, I don't want to, I don't know if I'll leave it up there all the time. I think I can use this little guy, which is the one that I told you. I really like this guy because I can just move him around in the car. Like I can literally set him, if I'm in the passenger seat, I can sit him over there. Yeah, all these allergies. I do like this little concoction. And I still might get another one of these because these were only $10.99. So these, this was a very reasonable buy. I am really practicing trying not to you know, talk much when I'm driving. But if I'm like on a little side street or driving through parking lots, I think I feel pretty safe talking while I'm doing that. But anyway, that's another whole story. Having my coffee, I think I showed y'all a little montage of me making my coffee this morning. I bought this little mug at the dollar store. So it was $1.25 at the $1.25 store, that is. Um, yes, yeah, it's Cancer Picked the Wrong Girl. I like that. This is so me because, yeah. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> I know I can't sing. We, we all have accomplished that. But you know what? Even if I can't sing, I'm going to sing. Okay? <laughs> all right. I'm going to head in here to work, get my day started. Ugh. Work is calming down. Work is truly calming down. I say that. And then yesterday was a it show. I mean, yesterday was a it show. And we're going to talk about that in another whole video because I think I'm going to have to dedicate a video to this particular topic because, yeah, it's it's a real thing. And I'm, I know it's a real thing. So I want to talk about it. I think I'm maybe changing up my videos a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like I'm leaning towards doing a lot of chats, which does that bother y'all? I mean, I know I have the PJs and coffee times that I'm going to be doing. And maybe that's too much chatting if I'm going to do those and then do a lot of chatting. Like this last video that went up, that was all about me getting my car. And so, oh, somebody's going to be late. Oh, I think it's the doctor. Oh, yeah, because his bike isn't here. He rides the bike every day to work. And I think he just texted us that he was going to be late. All right, y'all, I got to get in there because that means... Girl might need some help. Sylvia in there getting everything open by herself. I got two minutes to pull. I'm supposed to be into work. This See, this is where I am. I'm literally struggling because I don't want to be in there a minute before 8 o'clock. And that's not me. That is so not me. But I got to work on that because that's not, that's not me. And I need to be better than that. I'm acting like people that I used to write up. <laughs> in my old days by the way we got some fun things going on today 
I'm hoping y'all might meet my friend Molly. If I can convince her to be on camera, even if it's just for a second. Okay, you're not in it. <laughs> you're not. I can't see you. <laughs> now I'm good when you lean back. You're okay. Like, no. trust me. Trust me. They, they, you know, Terry, my friend Terry is like that. And they love her so much. They always, they know she's camera shy. And all my, my subscribers will be like, tell Terry she looks so pretty. Aww. Like, you know, like, because she's always like, I look horrible. And I'm like, no, you don't. Cameras are like, they hide nothing. Some social media. So they you hide nothing. <laughs> I am with my friend Molly, but she is trying to stay off camera. She <laughs> waved. <laughs> I shared with y'all that I'd only put her in if she wanted to be in, but she doesn't really want to be in. Maybe, maybe we'll get a side view of her at some point or another. <laughs> but we're off to the McNay Art Museum, and we're going to watch a little jazz music and have a little fun filled girls evening. I'm pretty excited about it. It was Molly's suggestion and I'm really down for it. So we're gonna take you guys along with us tonight. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday. Are you ready for the weekend, baby? Are you ready for the weekend, baby? Are you ready for the weekend, baby? I am. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Or am I? No, I am because I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? And I'm able to wear this shirt on this beautiful day in October. As a breast cancer survivor, like I am just so thankful. Every day of my life, I'm thankful. But it's like when I put the shirt on this morning, I just remembered that God carried me through some tough times and he brought me out. He brought me out with a vengeance. He's like, this girl going to live and she's not only going to live, but she's going to thrive. So I'm thriving, y'all. I'm thriving. I'm thriving. I'm thriving. So today I had another dental appointment. I am here about to leave the Health Science Center where I am getting some work done. I'm trying to decide on this whole implant situation. So I got a little bit further today than what I thought I was going to get. And I guess, I don't know, like I, 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 do I share this in this vlog? Because I kind of talked about it a little bit in the last vlog and I kind of want my, my journey documented. I think when I actually start the procedures, I'm going to give a whole dedicated set of videos for that and I'm gonna do a playlist for that but today I'm just gonna kind of share out loud what's been happening um, or what happened today so I mentioned to you all that I went I started coming to the, the Health Science Center uh, to get some dental work done or to see because now post cancer I need to have a lot of dental work done I was going to look over there y'all I'm so used to going that way with my camera um, and I wasn't real impressed with my last visit here. I really pretty much had ruled this place out because I felt like I wasn't getting any, like I didn't get anywhere and I didn't like, it, it was just very uninformative to say the least, I guess. I'll just leave it at that. And I think it was just due to the person that I had that was just feeling like he was just able to do his own thing maybe. Long story short, I had to come in today he was sick. See, God is really good. Let me tell you how God works. Because I've been screaming about this $30,000. Now, I'm not saying that I'm over $30,000 because I still don't know how much this stuff going to cost. But I got a better explanation as to... Okay, how do I... Can you see that look of panic on my face? I was trying to exit the parking lot garage and realized that the gate was not going to open. I backed up, pulled in, still didn't open. I went to another gate and that one wouldn't open either. And I thought, okay, this is not good. But finally, the gate decided to just open on its own. I decided to just finish this conversation in another video when we're just talking about me and what I plan to do as far as my surgeries, procedures, and that so forth. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Shoes are brighter than mine. I know. I got. Look, look let's get it on the. Yeah. What? Rock and roll. I am. Yay. I am. We're ready for the weekend, baby. baby. Are you ready, ready for the weekend, baby? baby? Are you I ready am. for the weekend, oh, baby? Okay. I am. <laughs> She's learning my song. <laughs> Is that tip money? Uh -huh. Hey. I remember when I used to count my tip money. <laughs> when I was working at the club. Those were the best things on like in the morning when you wake up and you because I would count it before I go to bed, but then I had to get up in the morning, you know, because I want to take it to the bank and I'd like be like, oh my god, I made this much money last night. <sighs> that was some good money back in the day. Good morning, beautiful friends. As you can see, I got my girl Terry here with me this morning. We're headed out to go garage sale shopping. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I got off my lazy bum bum. And I'm up and going. I actually got up at like seven o'clock this morning. I woke up at five, but I laid in bed because I was like, okay, why am I awake and like wide awake? And I did kind of doze off about six and slept till 7.15. And then I jumped up and jumped in the shower, made myself look as best as I could look on a day like today. And now we're gonna go to the King Williams District. And if you don't know where that is, I don't really know where it is either. I mean, I know where it is, but not really. I know it's rich old money in San Antonio. <laughs> That's what people call it, the rich old money. So we about to go to the rich old money and see what they're throwing out for their trash. Because their trash may be our treasure. I'm looking for a couple of things. If I find them, I would be very happy, but they have to be cheap. <laughs> Because I really don't want to spend a lot of money on them. share with you what those things are When I get them if I find them All right, we'll talk later She ought to be super quiet y'all see that Yeah, mm -hmm. she acted like she don't know you know, like she don't know y'all there She's just pretending like I might act like I don't see them She over there. I just checked my P.O. Box y'all It's been a minute since the girl checked the P.O. Box because I don't really get that much mail Let me fix y'all because I can't see y'all very good or y'all can't see me I got a package and I'm gonna open this up with y'all because I am so I, I didn't know of anybody that was sending me anything but it says um, fresh thongs direct to you smell my thongs <laughs> um, I don't know what this is so we gonna open it together and see what it is let's see what it is well, it's obviously a phone <laughs> What is it? I mean It says sorry to disappoint you, but no dirty thongs in here. But whoever delivered this to you now think you're weird. Oops, haha. -ha. It's just a prank pro bro. That was weird. Oh my God. I'm not going to show y'all what's in this bag. Y'all don't need to see it. Isn't that weird? It's very X-rated. See what I was thinking when I saw the thing that said smelly, smell my thongs, because they've been doing a lot of advertising, like all this new stuff that's supposed to make your butt smell good. So I thought, oh Lord, they didn't come up with a thong that make your butt smell good. You know what I mean? Like, a, like I meant, I was thinking like a scented thong. She got some Skittles. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing up. we can show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And there was no thong, but there was a piece of lace. 
to make you think it was a real thong in there. I don't know. That was really kind of dumb. But I don't know. That was definitely different. All right, y'all. Huh? Because he wants you to see what we're doing. Okay, so we are now at this little coffee place. You know, the breakfast place is not even open, Terry. Is it? Or is it? No, I guess it is. Okay, it looked dark in there, but I... Yeah. Okay, sorry, y'all. We, we're trying some interesting places here. So this is called, what is it called? Stranded Coffee. And I got something that's called the Maribel. And it is cinnamon. It's got oat milk. It's got, I don't remember what else. I don't know. It's like, it's got some, some stuff in it. And, and, uh, I don't know. I don't remember, y'all. I'm sorry. But we're going to do a taste test here this morning. And Terry says she doesn't like her coffee. Is it too bitter? No, it doesn't taste like coffee. It doesn't? No. Okay, here we go. This is good. This is very good. Want to try it? Yeah, you can try mine. Okay, she says here. it doesn't taste like coffee. Trust me. Thank you. It doesn't taste like coffee. I don't it doesn't taste like coffee. That's kind of nasty. <laughs> and to me, that's ugly. <laughs> she doesn't do these kind of flavors and stuff like that, so. Mm. Yeah, this is good. That, mm. that one, I <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. I ordered the one that didn't have the espresso in it, because that doesn't taste like it's got any espresso in it to me. It does. But I didn't order the one that was double espresso. Okay. I think I don't know what this one had in it. I don't remember. But anyway, I think we're gonna move over here to the food truck and see what we see. Wanna, yeah. Did you want to go to the food truck? Yeah, let's look at it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the food truck now. It's called the breakfast truck, not the food truck. It's called the breakfast truck. So Terry's trying to check out a few more places that we can go for the yard sale shopping. But y'all, I'm going to be very honest with you. I think we're both pretty much disappointed. We have not really run into anything that was remotely what we wanted. Well, I guess the curtains. We did see some curtains that would have been pretty for her her home. But they were a little bit sheer. And I don't know. Do you think $8 a panel was a little bit pricey? I do. I, I kind of thought so, too. I could see, like... Eight dollars for a pair, but eight dollars for a panel. A double wide panel. I, they are older. They're old. Yeah. And you can. When I lo was looking at them, there was stains on them. And stuff, so. Okay. And you don't know if that's gonna wash off or exactly. Or, like, did they just take them down and bring them out there, or did they wash them and those stains are permanent? Right. Right. So, that was pretty much the only promising thing that we saw. Everything else has been junk. And when I tell y'all junk, it was expensive junk. <laughs> She's deciding. She's figuring it out. We've kind of given up on the whole garage sale thing because I think there was just not anything in our taste out here. But I see a few places that we want to come and eat. Terry's showing me places that she used to go. So this was her stomping grounds when she was with her late boyfriend, Gary. He would take her all over to all these fancy little places and they'd have a great time. Like across the street, there's a little place she said she went. I didn't pull the camera out, but we just left the place called Liberty Bar. I really wanted to film in there, but then I felt like uh, maybe I shouldn't. But yeah, it is such a cool little area. Corn in the cup. We're hanging out now, just kind of walking. We're actually trying to make our way back to the car, but we're enjoying our view as we walk back to the car. This King Williams district is absolutely beautiful. We've seen several places that we decided we were going to buy. We don't know where we're going to get the money from, but you know. Look, somebody could just give me that one. Right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, we'll take anything that's given to us, but I don't think anybody's willing to give us anything, but that's okay too. I'm still enjoying my coffee. It's actually gotten, gotten a little bit watered down. There's my girl. 
But yeah, we're just enjoying our Saturday. It feels good to be out and about, and the weather is absolutely perfect. No complaints on the weather. So it's truly the next day. Lots of time have passed since I vlogged last. We ended up just kind of getting into the moment. We had a fun full day yesterday, but today is Sunday and it is my get everything organized, get ready for the work week day. But I actually haven't done very much of that today. I actually been on the phone with my brother this morning. Then from the phone with my brother, I was on the phone with my sister. And then I got a call from my friend Molly or a text from my friend Molly and we're gonna hang out this evening. I really love having a friend to just like come over and we can just kind of chill and we're kind of on the same page. I don't know, I just love it. So, you know, like I had great time with Terry yesterday and then looking forward to a great time with my friend Molly this evening. So anyway, I went to Trader Joe's as you all can see. So I'm gonna end this vlog out with a little bit of a Trader Joe's haul. I got a few more fall things, by the way, just, I don't know. There are just some things that I saw and I thought, mm, I kind of want to try them, even though I'm trying not to be all up in the craziness, but there are just some things that I want to know if I like them or not. And that being said, I picked up a few. We're going to just kind of pull things out of the bag because Molly's going to be here like in an hour and I need to get some stuff together. Okay. So I saw these, which I didn't see these the last time. But these are pumpkin tortilla chips. So I don't know. I'm excited about seeing what they're going to taste like. They're, um, the ingredients is pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I was out of these and I picked up a couple of more of these organic corn chip dippers. So I saw these pears and these are organic barlet pears. They were like $3.49 I think a for the bag, so I grabbed these. I'm gonna cut up a few of those for us to have the snack on. I picked up some grapes. So Molly's a big fruit snacker and she's not much on dairy. I'm all about trying different things. Like y'all know, I love my oat milk. I love my, I think I like oat milk more than almond milk, but you know, I, I do one or either, or I spent $60 by the way at Trader Joe's today. These are the Greek non-fat yogurt and then i've been hearing about this so i jumped on the bandwagon even though i tell y'all i try to stay away from trying to be so like in your face with all kinds of stuff but i got this vegan buffalo style dip it's plant-based and it's dairy free i thought this is something that molly hopefully she likes spicy i don't even know if she does but i like spicy so i'm hoping she does trader joe's salsa especial i saw these i've been wanting some fish yesterday terry and i went to a restaurant to try to get us some fish and chips. And lo and behold, y'all, they were all out of fish. I'm trying to figure out when restaurants run completely out of stuff, like how does that happen? But anyway, I'm not even gonna get into that because I'm in a hurry, but I saw this and this is um, Panko breaded tilapia fillets, farm raised, some celery. I got my all famous chicken fried rice. I got some Brussels sprouts. Got this, y'all know I buy this a lot. This is the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. This item right here, I did get this strictly on a YouTube video that I watched like in the wee hours this morning. I got a non-dairy pumpkin oat milk beverage. So I wanna see what this is all about. I saw a girl talk about putting this in her coffee. So I wanna see how this works out. I don't know, I hope it's good. I got two of these and these are non-refrigerated items. This is a repurchase because I do like these. I snack on these a lot in the mornings on my way to work or I grab one and I'll have it later on in the morning at work. Very easy to eat at my desk. These are really, really good. Both of these things, the pumpkin pie spice and the organic ground cinnamon, both of these are staple pieces to always keep in my pantry. They're hard to find. This will disappear here after, within the next few weeks, you won't see this in the stores anymore. And then the cinnamon, this time of year, it tends to sell out. Yeah, so anyway, this is my Trader Joe's haul in all of its glory, $60 worth. And I went in there just to get a couple of things. But it's really hard to just do that when you go to Trader Joe's because you end up seeing things that you need. And in my case, things that I wanted to try. This entertaining people, you know, that makes you have to spend money because you got to have stuff to snack on when people come over. Yeah, we will see you all in the very next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.